With each new release of Android, there are changes in the platform that may impact how your app works. Let's talk about how we're making it easier to test platform changes in Android 11. To provide the best user experience, it's important to make sure that your app is compatible with the latest version of Android. In Android 11, we've introduced new tools to make it easier to test and debug your app against changes. This is part of a new compatibility framework, which lets you enable changes individually. It also outputs logs when your app encounters an issue. There are two main types of compatibility changes, those that affect all apps running on Android 11 and those that only affect apps based on the declared target SDK level. We often put most changes behind target SDK so that you can opt into these behaviors once you've had time to adjust your app. Each compatibility change has a name as well as a change ID for reference on developer.android.com. Let's see how you can use this to test your app's compatibility. Here I have a sample app running on the Android 11 beta. It looks to be working fine, but I want to see how it might be impacted by the different compatibility changes. You can see which changes are currently enabled for your app by looking at developer options in the settings UI. I already have developer options enabled on this phone, so I can open the settings app and navigate to system, advanced, developer options, app compatibility changes, or I could just search for it. I can only toggle changes for debuggable apps. So if you don't see your app here, make sure to set debuggable to true. Here I see a list of the app compatibility changes in Android 11, and I can turn changes on and off individually for this device. Use this feature to isolate and test against only one behavior change at a time, or easily enable changes behind target SDK to assess impact. My app seems to be working OK now, so I'll try testing some other changes, like this one on memory sanitizers. As I toggle a change for an app, the app will be killed to ensure that the override takes effect immediately. With this change enabled, my app is now crashing. Notice how I didn't need to recompile my app for the change to take effect. In the logs, I can see more to understand what's wrong with my app. It's a memory access violation. In the log cat window, I can scroll to the bottom and see that GWPA SAN caught the error and triggered the crash report. If you don't want to use the UI, you can identify which changes are enabled using logcat or ADB command. Each list includes the change ID, the name of the change, and whether it's enabled or disabled. ADB commands can also be used to toggle changes on or off. During developer preview and beta, you can toggle all changes to debug and find issues in your app. Once the public version of Android 11 comes out, you'll still be able to toggle the changes that are gated behind target SDK to make that transition easier. Use this opportunity to take a look at whether there will be any impact to your app when upgrading to target SDK. By using the app compatibility framework for application testing and issue triaging, we hope we've made it easier to get your app working on Android 11. Check out the docs on developer.android.com for more details. Thanks. Mm -hmm.